career of Lake Superior State men's basketball head coach Steve Hedinga. Coach Hedinga, last weekend, uh, Lakers split a couple of road games, uh, dropping a tough one at Ashland and then getting your first GLIAC victory of the season at Wayne State, you know, for a big second half. Uh, can you talk a little bit about your team's performance last week? Well, obviously a tough road trip. Uh, uh, Ashland and Wayne are both very, very good teams, and, uh, you know, to come out of there one and one is uh, – no, no, no loss there, I think. Uh, we certainly would have loved to have been 2-0, and but uh, certainly a trip you can go 0-2 if you don't play well. And our kids, uh, you know, they battled hard at Ashland. Uh, I really think Ashland's got a really, really good team, uh, very tough, and uh, they have all the pieces, great guard play, and two really good post players. Um, and then Wayne State, uh, obviously, is a very good team as well, and, and we played ex exceptionally well on Saturday and uh, shot the ball well, which really helps. Uh, sometimes if you can make some shots, it can really help everything. Uh, we shot a high percentage, and I think we ended up with 13 threes, and that, that's certainly a, uh, 39 points is uh, really big for us uh, to hit that many threes. So it really helped. I mean, sometimes it's a, it's a shot make, shot miss kind of game, and it certainly was for us on Saturday. One of the guys who was big in that game was Malik Adams, who had 24 points. Can you talk a little bit about his performance on Saturday? Well, I think I mean, he got going. Uh, you know, he hit some open shots, and you know, we got him loose a little bit in transition. Uh, guys found him. Uh, you know, he was re ready to shoot the ball, and you know, uh, I'm not sure how many threes he hit, three or four. Uh, but he was, you know, focused. Uh, I thought he had a really good game defensively as well, and I uh, was very active for us, and uh, you know, hit, hit the open shots when they were there. And uh, you know, I think it was a big, drastic turn for him from Thursday to Saturday. He did not play as well Thursday, and uh, I think was mentally a little bit uh, shaken on Thursday. And, and credit to him uh, for coming ready to play Saturday and, and gave us a big performance. Uh, this weekend, the Lake Lakers played their first home games of the season against Saginaw Valley State and Northwood. Uh, you know, what do those teams bring to the game, and what are our expectations for this week? Well, certainly our, our, our focus is on Saginaw Valley. We play them Thursday. Uh, they have a very good team. Uh, besides us, I think they've played just as tough a schedule, if not harder. Uh, you know, the first six, seven, eight games, they've played seven games. They've played uh, the juggernauts down in the GLVC as, as we have. So we've both played a really difficult schedule. Uh, you know their record uh, being two and five is not indicative of how good a team they are. They just went down to Hillsdale and won uh, before conference play, a very tough place to win. Uh, so we know how good Saginaw Valley is. Uh, they certainly have all of our attention for Thursday. We're not even you know considering Saturday yet. We'll, we'll deal with Saturday come come Friday. So we know they're a very good team, very well coached, uh, great guard play, and and uh, Fred John Jr. inside is playing really well for them. Uh, as a post player, so you know we obviously have to prep the next couple of days and, and put our best foot forward to be ready on Thursday.